Look, it doesn't take a genius to realize what kind of game Genshin Impact aims to be. Whether you love the game or hate it, one image would be enough to convey what the game tries to do. It tries to be wholesome, vibrant, and just in general give a feel-good vibe to whoever plays it. But even with that in mind, it doesn't mean that there hasn't been cases where players were taken aback in their seats at some of the horrendous things they saw in this game. For example, <laughs> you're not meant to zoom this close to a character's face. It only happens in certain situations. This is horrendous. This is this is real horror right here, okay? <laughs> like imagine you're playing one of the cutest characters in the game and all of a sudden you see this in front of you. Another example would be Albedo. During the Christmas event of 2020, a player had the misfortune of seeing Albedo in this state. Now imagine you're playing a wholesome event with nice story, nice music, and all of a sudden you see this in a cutscene. What makes it even creepier is the fact that Albedo as a character is a synthetic human who told you that if he'd ever lose control of himself, we'd have to stop him. Imagine seeing that come up in a cutscene randomly. That's the kind of horror we're talking about here. And of course you had glitches like whatever the hell this is, like this is nightmares right here. Like I can't sleep when I think about Ganyu in this state, like what the hell is that? But what we're talking about in this video isn't just a one-off glitch. No, <laughs> this is something way deeper than that. This glitch is a systemic corruption of your game files to the point where the story in the game takes place in an alternate, way darker timeline. A timeline that takes these beloved wholesome characters that everyone loves and puts them in a situation that involves murder, depression, and even suicide. This is the story of Faceless Ayato. On the 10th of November, 2022, a user by the name of Kotalok123 uploaded a video in Russian with the caption of, this was meant to be a Diana video, but then I saw something on the statue. This is what he noticed on the statue. An unknown but familiar looking figure. So he went to inspect further. At this point, the player is saying that this is Ayato, as we can confirm from the back. However, what they also say is that they're in single player mode and that they don't have the character unlocked, making this even creepier than it already is. The video gets even creepier when the player has Ayato turn towards him to face him. The caption reads something along the lines of, he turned to me, he has no face, I'm very scared, help me. I downloaded Genshin from an unknown website because the official Genshin was not working. At this point, it was clear. There was something very wrong with the game they downloaded. But this was the least of their worries, because this was only the beginning. The user uploaded a second video right afterwards on the same day saying, I just wanted to play with Diana. It's not funny. I thought Ayato was a bug. To which they find out that they're very wrong. All of a sudden they notice him again, standing behind, saying in the caption, it's him again. What is he doing? Help me, please. I'm very scared. Upon closer inspection, the player says, what's going on with him? I'm really very scared. He looks like he's going to jump. He has no face again. It's very scary. And scary it is indeed, as we see the first close-up to the faceless Ayato. I mean, imagine minding your own business in this world and all of a sudden encountering this in the wilderness, not once, but twice so far. What would your reaction be? At this point, we can't really conclude much other than the fact that Ayato wasn't a one-off occurrence. This is the second time he shows up. What then happens is something straight out of a horror movie. Because according to the player, the recording broke off as soon as they turned around and were greeted by an Ayato, faceless, turning around, almost as if greeting them, acknowledging their presence in a way. With the caption, here the recording broke off, I turned away from him, but when I turned the camera, he was looking at me. Please help me, it's very scary, it only happens at night. And even though that's extremely creepy, it was nothing compared to what he saw next. On the 11th of November, the player uploaded a new video, saying, It happened again, I'm shaking, but this time, new character has entered the game. Here we can see two bystanders to what appears to be Ito pushing Ayato off a cliff, with the player saying, This looks like murder, collision from height. 
reminding us that they downloaded Genshin from an unknown website because the official download link was not working. And what's even creepier is that they were both also faceless, not just Ayato, but Ito too. This is when it starts to get really eerie, because Ito is a beloved character by all who has been nothing but wholesome throughout the whole game. And here we are witnessing what appears to be murder. And this marks the start of a riddle. The player opens up his character menu wanting to check the damage Diana deals, but then notices something off. The character description completely changed. This new description was talking about some sort of riddle, about how it had to be solved in order for the player to reach the long and hard path to truth. They had to start by getting a key for a certain memory, and that they would find that key next to a special thing belonging to a deity. The player then concluded that this special thing was the tree in Mondstadt that Venti, the deity of Anemo, loves so much. And they turned out to be right because they were again confronted by none other than faceless Ayato, which made him wonder, does he worship this tree? There was unfortunately no key to speak of, or maybe there was, because as the player kept playing the game, they noticed something very unsettling. Another faceless Ayato had appeared, this time in one of the worst possible places you can imagine, a graveyard. The player then specified that he didn't just find him in the graveyard, he just happened to be walking there, and then Ayato teleported to him on the spot, prompting the player to apparently scream, and I think anyone would have in this situation. Imagine walking a graveyard, and all of a sudden faces Ayato teleports in front of you. They had then specified that they tried solutions to delete him from the game, but couldn't manage to do so. Faces Ayato seemed to have become a part of his game. After the scary development, people waited one day until the next update got posted on the 13th of November. A really lucky number. It was a video of the player finding Faceless Ito guarding what seemed to be like Faceless Ayato. When the player approached Faceless Ayato, Ito teleported in front of him and started glowing, making it seem like Ito is trying to guard something, as if hiding it. All of a sudden, people in the comments started thinking, wait a second. Is Faces Ayato the victim in this situation? And why was Ito acting so suspicious? What is he hiding? As people were wondering about that, the player decided to post another video in the same day. This time, he was in Mondstadt and found Faces Ayato. For the first time though, he seemed like he was speaking to an NPC. So the player approached him and as soon as he initiated dialogue, night turned into day. There were two dialogue options, who are you? or I have to go. The player chose, who are you? Ayato said something about light, dark, and how the player is the key keeper, and then immediately disappeared. Unfortunately for the player though, they barely had time to process what just happened before finding themselves in Deluxe Mansion, where they found a faceless Ayato and a faceless Ito in what seemed like a battle against Raiden Shogun, the deity of Electro. As the player was looking at them fighting, there was the very creepy occurrence of both Ayato and Ito disappearing, leaving only Raiden there in the room with them. What's even more unsettling is that when the player turned around trying to leave the mansion, Raiden, or should I say faceless Raiden, teleported right behind them. But what does this all mean? Why is this person's game haunted this way? Who are these characters? Why are they fighting? And why are they seemingly everywhere in this Teyvat? This is where we finally start to get more pieces of the puzzle. It all started to make some sense when the player opened up his inventory to find two items, one being Ito's notebook and the other one being a patient log. The patient log had a very specific date, the 16th of September 2006, which was one of the reasons why some people thought this might have been inspired by a true story. The patient log described Ito coming in as a 7 year old boy, obsessed with wanting to kill Ayato and saying things like how Raiden is his mother. Ito's notebook, on the other hand, describes how Raiden told him that Ayato is the god of darkness and that he needed to get rid of him, otherwise he threatened all universes. The last page of the patient log described what seems like Ito being given antidepressants that are experimental and extremely strong that made him lose his mind, which prompted the doctors to kill him. So that's everything we really have about this incident. 
the player who made these TikToks never really confirmed the whole story. This prompted many people to start writing up their own theories about what they think happened, whether it be on TikTok, Twitter, all social media in general. People were obsessed. But after doing much research on this topic, here's the best version I could come up with of what really happened. Raiden brainwashed Ito into thinking that Ayato is the god of darkness, the cause of all problems. She then launched the Vision Hunt degree partly because she wanted to target Ito specifically and convince him to murder Ayato. Enraged at the fact that his vision was taken and wanting to take revenge, Ito set out to murder Ayato by pushing him off a cliff. This was reported as a suicide with Ito never being caught. According to Ayaka's character description in this alternate reality, she lost her mind to the darkness. She became insane at the news of her brother dying. And Ito, knowing the truth, started slowly losing his mind even more at the thought of his guilt. So he went to seek help at a clinic. He was then treated like a lab rat, given experimental antidepressants that made him go even crazier, forcing the medical team Faceless Ayato and Faceless Ito are ghosts, haunted by their past, unable to move on, haunting Teyvat. They only come out at night and are seen in iconic places. Don't get too close, however, because once you do, they'll turn around, stare at you, and might even teleport to you. In fact, on the 10th of November of this year, one year since the first video was posted, coming up soon, one could only hope that your game files don't get corrupted too, and that you don't see Faces Ayato on the statue in Mondstadt. My advice to you would be to never roam Teyvat at night, because who knows what you might encounter. Stay safe out there, and may Faceless Ayato never arrive to your reality.